let me show you an AI service that's going to blow your mind away. Now, I think it's really interesting because it can do a whole lot of things that I haven't seen done on other AI systems. Now, the cool thing about it is that it can actually generate content. It can do images. It can do mind maps. It can extract the information from an image and it can do a whole lot more. And that Chrome extension, it's super practical to use. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. Now, the first thing I would recommend is that you grab the Chrome extension because you're going to love it. Now, before you do that, let me show you the Pop AI system. This is the main dashboard. And you can go ahead and sign up right now with the link in the description. And you're going to see the main categories for Pop AI, but they have a bunch of categories specific for different needs. Now, in this case, let's get started from top to bottom. So let's get started with the chat with document. You have two options. You can upload a file or you can grab one from a URL. Let's get started by uploading one from a file. This one has a lot of data in it, so let's give it a few seconds. There we go. The document has been parsed. It's seven pages long and it does have a lot of data that's complex. This would really come in handy if you use it in Pop AI. So based on this information, we're able to extract this in a way that we actually understand it because I don't know, I don't install panel solar panels and maybe you don't either. So you need to know information that might be relevant to what you actually need. So in this case, for example, I have suggested questions. So for example, what is the total power capacity of proposed and or solar system. So let's go ahead and ask it. Maybe I want to know really quickly here without having to go through the document. I just need a note here. So it's 2.3 kilowatts of total power. Now, if I want to find out something about this document, well, I'll go ahead and select a section like this one and I'll extract the data. So check this out. It's going to extract it in a way that I can actually use it somewhere like in a, like a CSV. So it's going to generate it for me. Look at that beauty. We just got a table for this, but we also got the CSV format and it's generating it for us so we can copy this code and use it in, in a CSV. So it's pretty neat that we have that option here to generate it. So just like that, look at that. I mean, that's pretty awesome, right? So that's for the, the PDF. Now you also have the option to grab it from a URL. So for example, the document that I just showed you, this rocket document, I have the PDF and I'm going to use it here in Pop AI. I'll just put it in and drag it in and it's going to do it for me. I'm not going to proceed with this, but just to give you an idea of it's possible to upload a file or grab it from a link that's a PDF. OK, you also, have, you also have the option to set language for scanned files. Now, there's a lot of tools that are available here in Pop AI. So let's go into the next one, the AI presentation. So if you need to create presentations, just click on this and it's going to add this prompt right here so it knows what it's about. I could go ahead and preview this just to see if this is what I want. OK, here we go. It's a document preview of a presentation. Go ahead and check it out. All right. But now I want to fill it with information that's relevant to me to what I to what I need. So let me go ahead and enter the topic information. OK, so I just wrote something here. Generate a presentation for my business that it's a freight business in California owned and driven by women. So let's go let it generate our presentation for us. OK, so it's starting now. You can see powering woman in freight, the success story. OK, so we just got the topic right here. You can check it out if that's what you like. Go ahead and create the presentation or regenerate an outline. And it's telling us where it grabs some sources for the specific presentation that we're going to write. So let's go ahead and create the presentation. But you can go ahead and go more complex, um, fix it, modify it, add more information, chat with it to make it more obviously unique to your business. So right now it's going to start making that presentation. OK, there we go. It just generated for us. We have our main outline right here. You can go ahead and edit this and some of the sections you can go ahead and shuffle it. So that means it's going to generate the content again. But here we go. We have the slides available here that so we can go ahead and modify the images. You can shuffle these images if it doesn't stick with what you like. But just like that, we got a presentation that we can work with. We can go ahead and click play, share it or change the theme right here. So it's super easy to generate a presentation here on Pop AI. Let's go back to a new chat. Next one, I want to show you educational writing. So once we open this up, we got a bunch of categories. And in this case, we have the academic categories right here. So first one we have is human written. So it's 100 percent unique essay written. And it actually says it's plagiarism free. So if you use this one, it's going to be a really good idea. You got smart, smart research turn equations into latex, research proposal, best email corrector for professional, keyword ideas by keyword intent, etc. Let's go ahead and use this one, the human written 100% unique essay writing. Let's go ahead and preview this one first just so you can see how it works. 
So here we go. We got an output right here. And then I wanted to write an essay, I don't know, about World War One. So let's go ahead and write something here. Okay, here we go. So I just wrote what I need, an essay about World War One from the perspective of a war hero in World War Two. So that might be interesting. So letting us know what the perspective can be of a person who went through war in World War Two and what's what happened in World War One by his perspective. So here we go. It's writing the outline. You can see it here. So the outline article, here's the settings for the stage. The early life on military service, World War One experience, impact in World War One, etc. And we got this essay written right here with this information. I can go ahead and enrich this information. I can go ahead and translate it into another language if I like, multiple languages, or auto enrich full text. So if I write this, it's gonna start off and let's give it a few seconds. There we go. It just finished writing this document. Here we go. And you can see perspective of a World War II hero reflecting on World War I. So we got the introduction, early life, and military service, background of a war of the war hero, enlistment and training, World War I experience, etc. We got this information. We we even got like a, a drawn here mind map and some images into this. Okay. So all that was generated with this. You can go ahead and keep chatting, making it better if you like, but that's one of the features that you have here in Pop AI. Let's go into another one, educational writing. You have the smart research feature. So for example, it's going to preview this. You can see how it works. And this was generated using the smart research. So again, you can obviously use your own prompts because you're going to need your own content and it's going to generate it for you. There's also the turn equation into latex. So you go ahead and preview this. If you're into math and all that and you need to turn those into latex, here's the option. Research proposal, best email corrector for professionals, keyword ideas by search intent. So all those in the academic section. Next, let's check out the presentation, speech and slides. We'll go ahead and use that one. And then we have available slides right here that we can use. So basically you saw this one in the last one, but there's different type of concepts for this. For example, data analysis report. So let's go ahead and use this one. And we're gonna ask it to do a data analysis for um, Facebook winnings from quarter one, 2023. So let me go ahead and write that. Okay, there we go. I just wrote it. So let's go ahead and send this out and Pop AI is gonna do its magic. It's searching in the web automatically and we'll give it a few seconds. Oh, it actually started already. There you go. Financial performance. This is quarter one, 2023. Here's the information and it's finishing up. You can see the content, how it's growing here on the left. And there we go. The outline is ready. Click create presentation to generate the slides. So again, you can regenerate this or we can go ahead and create the presentation. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. It's been generated. The image doesn't have to do with it, but the content does. So we'd have to shuffle this one. Let's go see if it generates another one. Again, doesn't have to do anything with it, but we can remove the images later on and change them. But the content, that's the important stuff. So financial performance, here we go. Revenue growth, one, two, and three. Revenue increase, segment reporting, future reporting, net income earnings, etc. All is here in this document slide. So you can go ahead and use this or we can go ahead and remodify it with the chat. Let's go back into new chat. Next, I want to show you image gen and QA. So here we go for the images. There's three options. Dolly three image gen mid journey prompt or mid journey wallpaper maker. So let's use the wallpaper maker. And I want to. OK, here we go. Get a background of stars that are blue and green, and it's going to generate a prompt for us. There we go. We just got a prompt right here. So cosmic symphony or galact galactic serenade. Let's use the cosmic symphony. Here we go. And we're going to use that on Dolly 3 images. Let's go back into image Q&A. We're going to use this on Dolly 3. And I'm going to use a prompt that I just bought from Mid Journey Wallpaper Maker. So let's go ahead and use this. And here's our image right here that it just generated. So blue and green stars. So that's kind of what we want. Again, we can go ahead and use the chat to get a different image from Dolly. Or we can use another prompt right here. So there's also the feature for Mid Journey prompt. I can go ahead and preview this so you can see how that works. And we're going to get the prompt for it. So you can see it's really complex from a simple idea. So from a simple idea, you're going to get a really complex prompt that you can use, obviously, on Dolly 3 to get the image that you like. Let's go check out professional writing. Go ahead and select this one. And you got blog and articles. These are the elements for this. There's SEO also. There's marketing, summarize and translate, coding from that also. But we're going to go into, whoops, here we go. Let's go back. Blog and articles. So let's use create SEO blog with pics. Let's get a preview really quickly. So here we go. Here's the prompt. Let's 
go ahead and copy this prompt so we can test it out. Let's go back. Let's use it on, on our own. So let's go ahead and paste it here and generate it. There we go. It's starting out with the quest confirmation. So let's go ahead and check it out. If it's fine, we'll go ahead and click next. Okay, next, since no URL was provided, we will skip this step. So if you provide a URL, that will generate it. Let's go next. Okay, so this is actually doing a great job. So for example, in this next section, where it's the content planning, we're getting the title, we're getting the description, and we're getting the keywords that we're going to use for this SEO blog. Let's go next. Okay, here we go. It generated the next, the next step, which is number five, one out of three, and click next. So we can do the remaining section. Let's go ahead and click next. So there we go, part three out of three, just finished. So from the fit last steps, so you got all the content that you're gonna need for your SEO blog from here. So let's go back into the main section of Pop AI. And I wanna show you Flowchart now, which lets you generate mind maps and knowledge mind maps from paragraphs. So let's create one, a mind map for any type of ideation. Let's go ahead and select this one. And then I'm gonna let it know about something that I need. Okay, so I just wrote this prompt, which is building a three-story home in a storm propent region and I want to build it with brick and steel. So I want a mind map for that. Let's go ahead and get started, see what it's gonna do. So we just got step one, which is asking us a few questions or if we just wanna proceed as is. So if we, ha we have relevant, relevant content like URLs, like building materials, the type, etc., we can put it here and it's gonna generate it for us. So we'll just say, proceed, go ahead and continue. So based on the information I provided in the beginning and a bit of research that it did, it's gonna generate the mind map for us. And it's doing it as we speak. So let's give it a few seconds and we're gonna get that mind map. There we go, we just got the mind map. Let's go ahead and zoom in a bit. And where we're gonna get started, obviously what we want, and then you have different type of things that you need to take care of in this mind map, like cost estimation, labor costs, permit fees, material costs, um, building codes, structural requirements, safety standards, local regulations, when it comes to designing considerations, foundations, elevated, deep piles, material section, brick, steel, water resistant materials. And here we have the main mind map to get started. So you can go ahead and generate mind maps with this. And obviously you can go more in depth if you obviously add more information to this, which is gonna make it a really interesting mind map if you use it. And last but not least, you got the coding answers. So if you are a coder, in this case I am not, but I will show you a preview. For example, ultra quarter one click create app from an idea. Let's go ahead and preview this so you can see how it works. So the idea of the project is order food on your phone app. And then we have all the files that are required. You got your code available here and you can go ahead and again, tweak this, keep chatting with it and make it even more powerful. So as for all the features here on Pop AI when it comes to this, but like I said in the beginning, one of the things that I really love about Pop AI, it's the Chrome extension. So do get this if you are using Pop AI. So go to the Chrome store, which is gonna take you here. Go ahead and add it to Chrome. I already did, which is this one right here. Let's go ahead and play with it so you can see how it works. So for example, I could be in my Facebook group and if I need to grab information from here, that is possible with the extension. Now, one of the things that makes it different from a different extension is that this can work with a screenshot that I can take. It could be a specific screenshot or the whole page screenshot. Let's actually use this one, which is a bit more complex. Again, let's use the Chrome extension. Let's select this specific information here. There we go. And let's use extract data. So let's see what data is gonna extract based on that screenshot that we just took. Here, here we go. It knows it's about the top five rising stars in SAS Master. The data was created because that's available here. Here is the information. So it even grabbed it from the image right here. So you can see Partnero, it's there. That OBTLYR, the bunny dog, the whisper, it kind of see it there, and simple base. From that image, it grabbed that information. Now, I can go ahead and summarize this insight, translate it into another language, and then I can also continue this in chat. So if I wanna continue this chat in the specific image, I can do so through here. So here we go, and I can ask it something else that I want to know about this image. In this case, it's not a complex image, so there's not much to talk about it, but you can use it there, okay? So let's go ahead and test it out somewhere else. So this is a bit more complex specification. So let's use page screenshot for this. And we want to extract data also. 
So here we go. We just got a screenshot of this and it's going to it's going to extract the data. Here we go. It started extracting the data from available screenshot. So here we go. And we even got the CSV format from here. So, I mean, trying to do that, if that was an image, that's kind of time consuming, trying to put that in a document. But with this information, you can do it really easily and quickly. So again, we can continue the chat based on that information, which could be something really complex that you need to know about. And you can use the chat for that. If you want to translate this. So, for example, translate it to Spanish. Here we go. It's now doing it in Spanish. So the same idea, it's doing it in Spanish. So technology is tecnología. You can see it here. Uh, portion control is control de porción. So it did it really quickly right here based on the data that's an image. So if you really want to use this tool to really bring out that data, you should definitely grab this extension. There's also the page, the PDF summarize and the settings for this to set the preferred language to get started. But there you go. That is pop AI. You definitely want to check it out. The link we provided in the description and that's a wrap.